Hello. Um, in this session, I have um, picked a question from uh, this book, The Shanghai Maths Project, uh, Practice Book 6B. And um, uh, it's a clearly a challenge question. So if you are interested in more challenge questions, you can refer to the book. Um, so I will um, read out the question. So it's Jack and Lily went shopping for summer camp activities. They each had the same amount of money. Jack wanted to buy a camp bag and Lily wanted to buy a thermal bottle. After arriving in the store, they realized they didn't have enough money. If Jack gave Lily enough money to buy the bottle, he would have 20 pounds left. If Lily gave Jack enough money to buy the camp bag, then she would have eight pounds left. The price of the bottle was two-thirds that of the camp bag. Can you work out how much money Jack and Lily each had to start with? Show your working. So um, I think the uh, easiest way to do this is to assume that the price of one of these bottle or the camp bag is X. So I will assume that the price of the camp bag is X. So let the price of camp bag be equal to X pound. Okay. Um, so the price of the bottle, so price of the bottle should be equals two third of that of camp bag. So it's two thirds, so we will be two third x in pounds. And now we have to find out what Jack's money is and what Lily's money is. So once we know what Jack and Lily's money is and expressed in terms of the variable x, we can equate it because they have the same amount of money. So um, Jack's money, Jack's money equals, if Jack gave Lily enough money to buy the bottle, so with the price of the bottle plus 20, so that would be two third x plus twenty. And Lily's money would be x that would be left with eight pounds. So it would be camp bag price, which is x and plus the money that she would have left. So that's what it is. So we are going to equate the two. So we'll write two third x plus 20 equals x plus 8. This is our equation we're going to solve. So we collect all the x's to one side. So it'll be 20 minus 8 equals x minus two third x. 12 equals 3, 2 x divided by 3, x by 3, or x equals, I put in some signs, x equals 36. So if x equals 36, then um, I, if I find either of Jack or Lily's money, the problem is solved. So if we do Lily's money, it's easy to find it. So Lily's money, Lily's money equals 36 plus 8 equals 44. So, 44. Okay, let me write it better. So that equals pound. 44 and that equals so I can just say Jack's money is also equal to pound 44 because they have the same amount so 2 third x plus 20 2 third of 36 12 24 plus 20 is 44 so um, that hopefully that solves this question um, I thought that was uh, quite an interesting one. Have a go. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment. Or you can send me an email at mathsforeveryone at outlook.com. 
um, if you uh, want any other any any issues or any questions you have so thank you for your time bye